Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I am the sun is shining and I've had a good morning so I thought I would make a quick video. Those of you that have watched me know that I have had tape-in extensions now for probably, gosh how long have I had them in? I know probably about a year and a half. I started off with wearing I've got two halos and I've got some clip-ins. And actually I have another set of clip-ins on the way because I have taken my extensions out. So this is just all my hair. Let me pull it all forward for you. I washed it last night. It feels so good to just, you know, be able to kind of run my fingers through it and everything. And so I thought I would just take this opportunity and show you my extensions. So these are, ah, sorry, <laughs> hold on. Okay, <laughs> so these are what I had in my hair. So you can see that this gives me a lot of blonde, which is my favorite part. And who would have ever thought that wearing like these has helped me get my hair so much healthier. And these are the ways. One, I can go like an extra day without washing my hair because these pieces just in my hair just help hold the style. They give it more life. They, I don't know, they just make it where I can go, instead of having to wash it every other night, I can wash it every third night. And that is a big deal when you are using you know, your flat iron or your, uh, usually I use a curling iron or my air wrap and, you know, dry it and everything like that. Another thing is the blonde. So because I have this in now, I really only have to get, you know, along my part highlighted. And then I can rely on these pieces to give me the brightness, you know, underneath. So all of this hair has just basically been colored. And um, so, I mean, really, just I, two of them had come out like about a week ago. One came out when I was brushing my hair. I wasn't even drying it. I had just gotten out of the shower and I was brushing one and it came out. And I thought, oh no, <laughs> it's getting real now. I mean, it was just like panic. And then I just thought about it and I thought, you know, what am I gonna do here? And then I think the next time I washed my hair, the first time one came out of this side, the next time one came out of this side, and this was like, I would say two weeks ago. I don't even think you guys noticed. I don't, I don't even think I noticed. And so I thought, huh, it's really not that bad. And then I thought, you know, I'm just gonna order some extensions. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> and so I ordered, I got out my extensions that I used to have that I really, really liked and are already cut, you know, perfectly for my head, the perfect color and everything. They might be a little dark, but they're too short because my hair has grown so much since I wore clip-in extensions. So Morgan ordered me a set of extensions from this exact same company and I believe the same color, if not the same color, something similar. And so that is what I think they come in today and she is going to kind of um, cut them up for me because a lot of times with extensions you have to kind of um, you don't want the ends to be too thick and blunt otherwise blend blend is what I'm trying to say and then I will just probably go and pick them up from her house I won't go in I won't get near her any of that kind of stuff and um, I'll just play with those but I thought in the meantime it's gonna be nice to wash my hair real good, maybe wear it up, maybe do some things that I don't typically do and have fun with it. So, but I just wanted to take this opportunity and show you my extensions. Each little piece that I have here is like a sandwich. And you can see these are the rooted. See how they get darker at the top than they are at the bottom? So it makes a big, big difference. Okay, and so I have two packs, and that is 10, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I have 10 pieces, and that is two packs. I think she said to do like a whole head, 
you would need like t at least 10 packs or something, 10 or 15 packs. I'm not sure, but I've always wanted it just for fullness and length, like on my sides and the brightness. So, but like I was saying, each piece is like a sandwich here and your a little thin piece of your hair goes in between it and then they stick to each other. Now mine, a lot of times when you try to remove them, the sticky stuff will stay in your head, but my sticky stuff is on these. And so um, what will happen is Morgan will just remove the little sticky piece and we will use these again when I'm ready to put them back in. And I don't know how much, I will have to get the company and how much this would cost and put it down below because I can't remember. We just do everything at such little increments. And I'm so spoiled because every time I go get a blowout, if one of them is loose, she will take it out and put it back in. So most people probably let theirs, let theirs kind of grow out and then get them all put back in at one time. But mine, you know, she'll just replace, it's usually replacing two or three each time I get a blowout. So that is these. I was so glad that I thought about, you know, showing you these because I bet you were interested. And it's a lot less than you would think. And um, let's see if there's anything else. I'll go ahead and show you my hair without them from every angle. And I did the exact, 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 exact curling iron and method and products and everything because last night when I got out of the shower, I didn't know that I was going to take them out, but I put my, I use um, like two or three pumps of the Kerastase on my ends and just the, like the one right here was just, it was right in, I think it was right in here somewhere. I mean, look how long my sides are, you guys. Oh my God, I can't believe it can't believe it. It just makes me so happy. I almost had like a buzz last night from just being so relieved that, I mean, I knew it wasn't bad because last time she took all of them out and put them back in, we saw that my hair was still really long. I'll put a picture up here and still really full, but I don't know. I just felt like after I washed it and stuff, I was going to be so disappointed, but I wasn't. So I did my hair just like I normally do and I used a teeny tiny bit of like that KMS hairspray. I don't think it's available anymore. Tammy stocked me up and I still have it. It's kind of like a, just a real loose working hairspray. And then I sprayed that hair, what is the name? Heritage dry shampoo, just to get, sorry, they're still working on that house next door and it kind of catches my attention. But I sprayed a little bit of that shampoo in just to give it a little bit of grit and, you know, just a little bit of dirtiness or whatever. But, um, so I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else. Let me think real quick and see if there's anything else I want to tell you. Okay, so I thought just for the heck of it, I would show you my clip-in extensions. So these are the ones that I had in my hair and then these are my clip-ins, which you can see my clip-ins really, really match. So I may use these, let me go get my brush. Okay, and this is my favorite brush. This is the best brush. And so, I figured it wasn't fair if I hadn't brushed these, but yeah, and they, boy, they match. So I can still use these, like if I were to put them a lot lower, or if I want to wear my hair up and Say I want to do it like I did the other day where I'm just wearing, like I always think of, to me that's like a charo, you know, hairdo where you wear it up here and then you let all your pieces fall out or a Bridget Bardot. It's easy just to put, you know, a couple of pieces of these in there and get a really good ponytail so you don't have to take up too much of your own hair. So I just think extensions are so much fun and, you know, used to they were kind of taboo. You didn't want anybody to know you were wearing, wearing extensions. But now, I mean, I'm telling you, almost anyone you see on TV, they have got extensions in. And it's just, don't, don't, you know, have fun and play with it. And um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, and wigs, you know, wigs are so, you know, in right now and so much fun that people have. And so, you know, it kind of it kind of validated extensions too. So, um, and these, did I, I think these might even be Sally's, the expensive ones at Sally's. And they're really good. They're really, I love how they're just like hair all the way up to the front. 
And um, so I think my other ones are coming in today. So it'll be interesting to see how they compare. And what else? Was there anything else? I will put the cost. Now the cost is going to be different for everyone, but I we will do a guesstimate of what, you know, she would typically charge, you know, someone. Um, but, you know, when you get your extensions through your hair girl, they are getting them for wholesale. So I don't know if they usually double them or triple them or whatever. I know that I have had Tapian extensions in the past and I paid so much for them and I was not ever offered to move them and they wanted you to get new ones like all the time. I use these, I mean, we just keep buying tapes and I use them and use them and use them and use them. The only reason I even got new ones is because my hair had gotten so long. My other ones were not getting not long enough and I wanted to try those ones that had a little bit of a root and these are a teeny tiny bit lighter and cooler than the other ones. And, um, but it's so much fun. So if you have been thinking about it, I know now is probably not gonna be the time to do it when we can't even get our hair done or anything. But um, if you can, could I guess you could probably order, um, you could probably order clip-ins. It would be a good time to, to experiment with it, you know, and have fun with it. And so that's what I'm planning on doing. So I think that's it. Um, for rings today, I have on the um, blue topaz plaza ring. I have on one of my Miranda Fry rings. I have on the matching earrings to go with the ring. And I love these nails. I love these nails. These are amazing. Um, they're better. To me, I love them so much more than any time I have ever even gone and gotten them done. And you know what is gonna be really good about them lasting like a week? is then you take them off, maybe give your nails maybe a night to breathe or something, you know, massage the cuticle oil in real good. And then I'm gonna love the fact that I can cut my fingernails down again, short. And I always hated that grown out nail underneath. That just always really cooped me out. So I'm looking forward to you know, switching them up. I can do different shapes, different colors or whatever. So I have really, really, really enjoyed these. I'll put them down below. And for my outfit, I have on just a bummy outfit. Um, I actually, I was gonna wait and show you these later, but I just bought a couple of um, like loungy pants. I bought some gray ones. Brooke got like some orangey brown ones. Bought some gray ones and then I bought the black ones. They're just, regular, regular pants, and I do have on, I've enjoyed these fit flops. The regular ones, I actually just ordered a pair for my mom. Very, very comfortable, and um, so just this. I think we might clean out my closet. I got a garment rack that I am going to use in there to clean out my closet. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you this too. I almost put this on today. This is something I ordered from American Eagle. It's from the Airy, and it was on sale. And it's just another one of those like sleeveless suits, but this one has like a little little gather at the bottom. But I thought these, this would look so good in the summer with flip flops and or and or wedges. Just a, a cute little outfit like that. Okay, now I can put that stuff up. And let's see anything else. My makeup. Oh, I have on a new foundation today, but I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm going to wait and use it in a new products get ready with me. So thank you guys for watching and make sure this morning we posted our collaboration. It's Brianna Stanko, uh, Tammy from Tammy's Ageless Beauty and Ariel Snyder and myself and we did a get ready with me and it's so funny because I used so much more than everybody else did but I think that's typical to who I am anyway. So go check out those videos too, and I will probably see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.